Hello everyone. So I see there's one people on chat right now, although not talking. Oh wait. That's weird. It's not showing in the video too. Um, is it showing now? Oh yeah, there we go. It's showing the TV to better have a turn now. So we're just going to play Breath of the Wild for tonight. Hi, Zippy. So I wanted to. I might play something else. Hold on, let me edit the chat box. It's pretty weird. There we go. Better. Uh, so let me just launch the game. So I kind of want to play something like um, this loud. I wanted to play Sly Cooper sometime later this week. Oh, glad to see you made it, although it's not good that you don't sleep and all that. Can I edit the chat box so it doesn't do that? Because I don't like that it's showing like all, all the way on the, the middle. That's pretty weird. Uh, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll check that later. It's first time doing streams. So, mistakes. Oh, wait, this is the wrong save file. I should have checked before. Before doing the stream uh, is there some update? no I won't update okay. right you need to sleep more like I have a few issues with sleeping as well but that's mostly uh, because of I forget what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I have um, I just can't sleep. It's called Fuck, I forget the name of the thing, but it's the thing where you cannot sleep Okay, hopefully this time I will have loaded the right save house because the annoying thing with the Wii U is, and Breath of the Wild specifically is that you can only have one save file per profile. So I had to make two separate profiles for the emulator. Yeah, Insomnia, that was it. Right, I loaded the right save file this time. Let me just move this over. There we go. Much better. So, I I fixed a few things, I changed a few mods around, so things wouldn't crash. I did duplicate the save file to test some things outside of the stream, uh, so everything should be safe now. Oh yeah, I, I grabbed the mushrooms from there. How many rupees do I have? 1,000. Do I have anything I could sell? I could sell those, but I don't think I want to right now. Because I want to get a few things from here. So... We are going to go get... I want to do a few things this stream. I want to get the mountain climbing set, and I also want to get the 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 camera app. I'm going to go get the camera app first, which is uh, we need to talk to Pura in Heteno Village. Thankfully, Heteno is not that far away. 
right. Oh yeah, this is test of strength. Oh, I don't mind if there's a lack of dumb jokes. I understand completely when there's a lack of sleep, so you don't have to apologize for that. Right, so... I think for this I want this cobbling bat. So what armor do I have that's good at this? Apparently none. But I'll, I'll do this like this. So, use the side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Target enemy strafing jump. So... Right. Hit me. There we go, that's a perfect... And we did it just like that. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Backflip. Okay. So he does it pretty quickly. There we go. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Right, we know about the parries. Okay. Build up your power and then release it. To unleash a charge attack, catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. And we got the guardian sword. And we killed the man. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. And we opened the door. We got a few ancient, ancient screws. And the most important thing is the Guardian Sword, because it does 20 damage, and we are a bit low on damage right now. So, oh, thank you, Crescent. So, the thing about parries is that because I am uh, playing with a bit of latency on uh, my monitor, and of course the game, I cannot parry pretty well, so the mod changes the timing of the parries a bit to make it easier on me, because without it I just cannot perfect parry, like, I know I can perfect parry on the console, but the issue is that I'm not playing on the console, I have a, quite a bit of lag on my end, that's not too visible for you guys, hopefully. So it messes a bit with the timing, and they cannot tell how much it messes with the timing. Your triumph over the test of strength spreads a prophecy of ruin from the ashes of Hyrule a hero rises. In the name of God is highly I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And we got another spirit orb. What? That's the sixth one, right? May the goddess smile upon you. Yeah, there's. That's basically it with the parry. I don't know how much it affects it, but. It does affect it a bit. Who is this kid? Mom is hiding, but I'll find her. Alright. Good afternoon, Sir Cyber Sniper. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's afternoon, right? So I got a blue nightshade. And, oh yeah. This is why I wanted to come over here. These are fairies. As a child, I, I would dream of the day that I'd meet a fairy. I remember as I had made a careless fall once. A, feral, a fairy happened to be near me and healed my scars and injuries. Fairies are very important because they just revive us yeah that right thing that's pretty cool that's pretty epic so the thing about fairies is that there we go oh fuck I spooked the fairy that's fine we get the blue night shades and the silent princess this was Zelda's favorite. I would pick them up for her, as they were thought to be going extinct. It's apparently been growing recently in the wild. Is this a sign? Yeah, it is a sign that uh, care and love uh, uh, matters even in the apocalypse, I guess. Okay. I don't remember how expensive this girl said where girl please listen to my story sure I am the great fairy Katera this place was once a beautiful spring but as time passed fewer and fewer travelers arrived to me offer me rupees as a result my power has abandoned me I'm nearly powerless now so I beg your help I need rupees to become whole again all I need is 100 rupees once my power has been restored I'll ca I can help you do great things girl now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In or well, yeah, I heard that. Okay. Yeah, it's like a giant melon or a giant pear. Plum. It looks like a plum. And I got a mod that overhauls the appearance of the great fairies a bit. It just changes the makeup. No, nothing too too big and drastic. Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, girl. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. With the power available to me, I would be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. So what clothes can we enhance? We can enhance the Nintendo Switch shirt, the old shirt, the Highland trousers. We cannot enhance the warm Dublay, nor the Climber's banana. I wonder if I should enhance the old shirt because of the set bonuses, although I feel like it would be a waste. Oh, and already how unfortunate for me. See you later. And she goes away. But we basically just have unlocked the first um, great fairy fountain. And we have three fairies, which is pretty useful for us. Seeing as how... Um, we don't have the best clothing so far, like it's only 3 protection for each piece, well, the old bandana is 7 protection, I should probably equip the climber's bandana because of the better health HP right now, but I also need to go to Kakariko, oh I, I can probably climb one of these to see if I can spot spot the tower from over there because knowing where the tower is would be very helpful for us in revealing more pieces of the map right and it doesn't look like we can so I'm just going to go back to Epona Oh, 
Oh, I left the Pona all the way over there. I completely forgot. Wait, there's a chicken here. The chicken. The cuckoo. I forget they are called cuckoos and not just chickens. Oh. I forgot this is the best time for this. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is your desire. We need more heart containers. I shall grant the power you seek. And we got our fifth heart container. God is highly strengthened my life force. I feel invincible. I better still be careful out there. Hehe. <laughs> we got five heart containers. So each five container is worth one uh, four points of HP. So in total we have about 20 HP right now. We need way more since uh, to get the master sword it's 30 hearts total but the there's like four shrines in the um, lost woods which would mean we only need like 12 hearts so far so we are quite a bit there oh yeah something which i forgot last time is that oh wrong place there we go trick or treat and we got the korok seat yeah we still have quite a bit to go in the game but I plan on streaming a lot and this won't be the only game I stream since I want to stream some of the other games I have played on the channel so far but I feel like Breath of the Wild is a good game for streaming right now especially while we wait for um, Linkle Mod to release for Tears of the Kingdom There's a few games I won't be streaming, even though I will be recording, like um, Stellaris. Mainly because the way I play Stellaris, I do have a few mods and stuff that I would need to censor, and I can do that live. And right now we need to turn around to go to Kakariko. Yeah, the reward for getting 999, I believe, Korok seeds is just a golden pile of shit. But at the same time, you only need like 401 Korok seeds to get all the upgrades. So I don't think we'll, we'll be getting all 900 of them. So we, we are quite a way close from Kakarikon, we still haven't seen any towers. And we killed the Bokoblins. Invoke Spear. Epona is so cute. I need to get... So there's a few things I want to do with the game before we move on to Tears of the Kingdom. I want to get all 120 base game shrines, the 13 DLC shrines, all pieces of clothing including the modded ones, which shouldn't be too hard. The exclusive, the unique weapons that spawn, which is the 
DLC ones, no, not DLC ones, the amiibo ones, and the modded ones I included with the mod pack. And I'm not sure I will be upgrading all the clothing to the max level. Since that would require us to farm for a few materials, like... Which shouldn't be too hard since you know how to farm like dragon scales, but a few other materials like the lizards and the bugs would be a bit harder. Okay. So which way is Kakariko? Hateno village? Oh yeah, Hateno is where we need to go. And we got honey. Oh my god. The goddamn bees. So we are going to Hateno. Wait. Can we see the tower? Um, I will go and get the tower. Although I don't know how I will do that. Oh, I hadn't noticed that there are enemies over there. Which shouldn't be too hard to deal with. There's like one blue one and two moblins. The moblins are the scariest ones in my opinion. There we go. Fresh milk. I had the fond memories of fresh milk. It's delicious and was often part of my breakfast. But I also remember being a milk chugging pro. That's the hero of legend for ya. Hylian rice. When I was younger, I was raised on dishes made from dish. The residents of Kakariko village love it too. You can make tons of dishes like risotto and rice balls. And we got mobbling fangs. And a few more things. We got an arrow. Look at this. Dude, look at this fool. Traveler sword. We need to go to the tower. We also need to heal. I'll be doing some things with the milk. I don't want to cook it right away because we could be doing cakes. Endure shroom. This yellowish orange mushroom is pretty rare. Cooking it doesn't make it taste any less awful, but it does increase my stamina for a bit. Oh. Die. But cobbling guts and horns. We got the horngus. Yeah, we could be doing cakes. Okay, so there's a pretty clear way on how to get to the tower. There seems to be a bit of delay with the chat box. So we got more... The cap of this mushroom is very hard. Cooking it prepares a dish that makes me feel like I can take a few more hits. Yeah, the horn goes of the dillfish. 
Have you never seen that meme? Yeah, there's a delay because I want to try and have you guys join me. But if the guests have the... If my internet can't handle directly streaming to the guests so they don't have delay, I don't think it's a good idea for me to try and have guests. So I want to test it out, but... Uh, there's no one to test it out right now with. Oh, fucker. And we killed him. Yeah, that's the guest of it. Just and we killed that guy. There's a few things about the game that are pretty cool, like ice damage. When you freeze an enemy and freezing them with a hit multiplies the damage by a significant margin while you cannot apply the same type of elemental damage to an enemy that already has that elemental damage so for example if I were to use a freezing gun not a freezing gun a Freezing sword on an enemy. I couldn't just use the same freezing attack on that one. I would have to use thunder, but then I would have to use an freezing again because the thunder effect would be applied to the enemy. But by far the most damaging thing you can do to an enemy is the sneak attack, which does like 8 times as much damage as a normal attack would do. But even then, there's also of course the... The animals receive like... 8,000 bonus damage when you hit them on the head. Which is like pretty significant. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And we here we have one of the coolest parts of this tower which is the fire <laughs> this is the Hitena tower and we are burning it. We we burned the whole tower to crisp. Which makes the climb much easier because we don't have to deal with the pesky fire. Fire in this game behaves has a unique behavior. 
like water stops something from burning for one minute Oh, it's almost night in the game, and we are about to climb the tower. That's pretty cool. And we are about to meet Pura as well, so that's also pretty cool. So, we have revealed officially two parts of the map. Shika Tower activated. This cutscene is always so beautiful. Oh, we can see a few more towers from over here. Yeah, Pura, she's the scientist character. A scanning area. And just like that. Regional map extracted. Wait, can we see Hateno village from all the way over here? Yeah, we can. Oh my god. That was pretty bad. Oh, we can see Hateno ancient lab from all the way over here. Yeah, this game is really cool, honestly. It's Tamala Mushroom. Yeah, it's important to have a parachute. I love how we can just outrun the enemies. Like, that guy was hiding, but we can outrun him because we are on a horse. And now we go to Ateno. Are you? Who who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. I'm a traveler. Hmm? You certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all work up. You're free to go. We're just a great point on your winding round, ho. At the time of Ah, the life of a traveler. Well you can get most things you need at the general store. And the inn is just back there. So, there is a shrine right there, we need the shrine, Be oh my god there's a hair on my eye, there we go. I want the shrine, the ni- Mayam Agana Shrine. Oh, this is one of the tilt control shrines. I always forget. So, you guys are going to see the issue with tilt controls because I don't have a controller that's 
good for tilt controls because the, for some reason the Xbox controller is the only controller in the market that does not have a fucking gyroscope. And people still say the Xbox controller is one of the best controllers. I don't know why. But I can use my mouse. That wasn't as hard as I remember doing because I have my mouse. It was harder when I didn't know the mouse controls. But I could probably have just not bothered with the shrine thing. But there's a chest here. What's in the chest you may ask? I don't know. Phrenic bow. A bow passed down through the Shika tribe. Concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. Oh, it's not as good as our soldier's bow. I don't know how big the delay is on the stream. Your resourcefulness in overcoming these trials speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon, bestow upon you this spirit orb. And we got the ball. This is our second ball, or third ball for this uh, next heart container. We just need one more ball. And I, I'm honestly not sure where, oh, I know where else we could get more balls. I even prepared a bit for it. Right, right. Good, good on me for remembering. Good on me. Right, so we go over here. And there's a few rupees in the... Silver rupee, 100 rupees. I could buy five elemental arrows and have 20 rupees to spare. And we got the rupees that did we gave the great fairy back. Isn't that wonderful? And so we gotta talk to Pura. And according to our map, she's all the way over there. Oh, I launched that fucking mushroom. So... Wait, what's that? Oh, that's just a tree. I thought for some reason that was like... I don't know. Like a tower. Oh. Hello and good evening. The night wind is cold, huh? What are you up to? What's it look like? And keeping watch over the mills. My devoted wife and I stand the garden at night. She's not here right now. I mean, it's more of a time-sharing sort of thing. My love for her is so powerful that she suggested we take ships. That way it feels more special when we're together. Funny that was going to be my question to you. What are you doing skulking around in the day, dead of night? I'm a traveler. Mm. Are you now? Well, that's fine. You seem harmless enough. Everyone says I'm harmless, but they don't know that I collect frogs like look at my frog frog collection i have like six of them and i got more sunset fireflies what's this a ten of pasture a ten ancient tech lab 
Oh, we are going to get another cricket. We got our second restless cricket. Crickets. There she is. There is Pura. There is no Pura pet, however. And before we go to Pura, I kind of want to actually go do something over here. Which thankfully I remember I have to do. Because otherwise he would have probably forgotten about it. Until we need more of them. And that is... There it is. Oh, I didn't get it. Was I not further away enough? Yeah, I guess I'm not further away enough for it. But there's a Korok over there. The Koroks. Oh, fuck's sakes. Oh my god, where did the choo choo come from? Give me your jelly. Give me the cricket. Okay. Maybe from here we will be able to do it. There we go. I had a pretty good spot, huh? Bye bye. Thanks, Karak. We needed the the Karak seed. How many do we have? Oh, we did eat single loading screen, right? And now we need to go back down the road. To the car, to the ancient lab. Because we took a small diversion over just to get a Korok. Oh, yeah, this game is pretty beautiful. Look at this. And we just go back, back all the way where we came. There's a bird. Wow, I have been streaming for 45 minutes. It doesn't feel like that much, honestly. Like it, I just thought I had been going around for... Like, maybe 15 minutes at the most, but it's 46 so far. I like the racial equipment, like the mine size shield and the sword. A ten, a ten old ancient tech lab. And here she is. Good morning. This is the Hateno ancient tech lab. Do you have business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. She's just children, look at her. Good morning. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's now literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that... That thing on your waist? Is that a Shika? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Shika slate, isn't it? I never actually seen one in person. If you could sh just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciated. Stasis, Magnesis, 
the remote bomb and cryonics and what else let's see so that's it for runes but um, strange it doesn't seem like you have the basic runes i don't understand why they're missing there must be some reason uh, where are my manners i nearly forgot to introduce myself my name is simon you are Lenko, right you know my name lady impa caught me up to speed you see, we were told a young lady holding a shika slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help her. She's the hope that has awakened from the slumber of resurrection. Her name will be Lincoln. However, to be tasked with such an important role, you certainly took your time getting here. Hmm. Impa did mention that you can treat a map to save your life. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Miss Director. This is a real Shika Slate. Director? Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Hey. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's, most, the world's foremost authority in ancient Hyrule culture. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Lincoln. You see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Don't spill the beans. Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me, Snappity Snap. Anyway, Uncle, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Lincoln, what's with that look? You do still remember me, right? Really? Well, I'm so shocked I didn't know if I'll be able to recover from this. Even though 100 years ago I took Link to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded him. Even though I was the one to put you both safely into the slumber of restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me. Hmm, it's expected. After 100 years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of taking notes abruptly like that. It's a charming quit quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say it failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I didn't insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough of that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every pace passing moment, and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is, if you got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheik Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Alright then, first I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Shika Slate for free, did you? I did not. Hmm, you're pretty considered for a young person. But then, I suppose that's actually because you're actually over 100 years old. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the only furnace in the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you please bring back the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance stone Fork, I forgot to read that from before. Huh, I wonder if young woman these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Yeah, okay, chat. I gotta go do something real quick. And I'll be right back in a few seconds, so please enjoy the be right back screen while I go do that real quick.
Hey chat, I'm finally back. Just had to go get some laundry, but I'm back. Wait, is there something here? Why is there a stair here? Oh, no reason in particular, I guess. Just to get those books. I guess she is a little child. Right. So there is another Kirk seat. Over here, if I remember correctly, which should be here, but I'm not sure how I'll be climbing this. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Not until high school I was slacking off, Corruxid. Bye bye. Okay. And now we can go and get the. that thing over there. Hateno Village. Hateno And this is the thing that we need to get The blue flame I'll be saving just in case Chad, why, why are you guys not talking? I haven't read chat in a while because I haven't seen any new messages Yeah, the last message was quite a bit ago, and I did read that one, but there hasn't been any new ones ever since. Frogs. Frog. So I turn this on. Now I go over here. Turn this on. There's children following me. Oh, I need to turn this one on. I need to turn a lot of them on. There's like quite a bit to go. The children like the flame? Wow, seeing it up close, it almost looks like you're holding a star. Whoa, pretty. Yeah, I guess the children like the fire. I wonder how the blue fly blue fire works. Like, is it just extremely hot? Is it magical fire? What's the deal with the with the airplane food? Yeah, what's the deal with airplane food? There's no children following me anymore. The children left. And we are almost there. Ah, I've seen this before. Old Granny Pura was carrying it. Granny. Wait. Oh, I guess they. I guess her aging experiment is recent. 
not too new because if the kid knew her as granny that means she has been here for quite a while and is quite social with the people of Hateno that would be my guess it's so nice to do this without rain Oh my god, we we got another one. And we are almost there. This game is so beautiful and calming and relaxing and just talking with you guys is relaxing. Ateno Ancient Tech Lab is now registered as a travel place. And we can actually fast travel here, from here, and here. So we have four different fast travel points so far. Which isn't too bad, but we would, we would have way more if we enabled the shrines. Oh, sorry, Pura. Hey, you. Linkle, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The guidance stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. Huh. <laughs> My sweet little guidance stone. You know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Shika Slate runes for you. Daddy. Give me a snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap! <laughs> nice one. Okay then. Shika Slate repair underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Wow. Now, let's do this thing. And... We set down the... The, I was going to say Purapath, but that's the one from the sequel. She could say authenticated. Camera Hyrule Compendium and Elven Missing Files confirmed. Starting repair. Let's go. And we got the camera app. Pictures creator saved in the album. It was a useful feature that connects to the Harrow compendium and automatically registers pictures of new entries. A rune has been added. And we got all those places to go. And all those places to fill over. Repair complete. And it's done. So it's all fixed now. Fuck, I forgot to read the rest. Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule, Compendium, Album. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. And this is how I used the, to take this. Um, the thumbnail basically I got a mood move that remo removes most of the UI out of the way so I can take better pictures for thumbnails Ooh. hey how's the pictures taking on picture picture taking going did you get a cute pic of me with the camera I took one oh I can't wait to see it let me see let me see and she's right there. Hmm. My, who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. It's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes? There are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use to the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linkle. It dawns on me that Link was Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that he accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. Where am I going with this, you say? According to legend, the Triforce creates a sympathetic bond between those chosen to carry it. So, theoretically, going to these sites may allow you to witness the events of the past through your connections to Link. Alright, 
the last memory thing could pro trouble some. But don't lose hope, it just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your own last memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my jo joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. And snap! Uh, right, we gotta go with Impa. And we got another quest. Slated for upgrades. So where did I leave uh, Epona? All the way over there. Hateno Village. I feel like Hateno will be one of the more important places for us. Hi Timmy. There's a bit of chat delay, so don't worry about that. Yeah, this is the cool spot where all the kill kids hang. I might actually stream some Mario Su Super Mario 63 sometime. That was a really good flash game. Okay. So I need to get my horse. I need to I need to also take a picture of my horse. Sepona Horse. Delete. How is our Hyrule companion looking? We need to take pictures of all the horses in the Lord of the Mountain. Super, isn't that um, a ROM hack for Mario Bros? For Super Mario 64? There's quite a few different ROM hacks. Oh, there's people in trouble there. What do you have to say for yourself? That was exciting up until it turned terrifying. Thanks for all your help. Electro spiced meat skewer grants low level electricity resistance. The special garden spice covers up the scent of the meat, allowing its flavor to sh shine. Uh. Yeah, I, I really like ROM hacks that change the character for a game. It was my sister's harp. Hard-brained idea that to hunt for truffles here that got us into this mess. I'm moving in my chair. That's why there's a lot of noise. Sorry about that. Oh. We're traveling all over to find hearty truffles. I know it's dangerous for two folks to travel on their own these days. You don't have to tell me twice. But when I think about how wonderful these truffles taste, all the worries and warnings melt away. Oh, I, I guess I also need to take a picture of this. Buckle Club. Delete the picture of the club. We just need the Hyrule Compendium thing. Hi, SSAP. Uh, I just got the... Oh, fuck. The lizard. I just got the... The camera app. Wood pigeon. And I'm taking pictures of things to have them on the companion, which is one of the things they want to do this place. Of. Wait, are acorns something I can add to the companion? I guess not.
Yeah, it's pretty cool to have a compendium. I'd say it's probably one of the best features of the game. Like having something to mark all of the things you look and see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pona, I know. Blue Book Goblin. Die. And look, number 112, Luba Coblin. Oh, we need to take a picture of the left wings. Oh, we didn't take a picture of the cricket. I guess that would be pretty hard to actually take a picture of. But this... The pink heron. I guess they couldn't just put left wing. Isn't that a TV show? I'm a coblin. And we just need, like, I think the golden bokoblin, the white bokoblin, and the black bokoblin. No, the, 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 the TV show about the pictures taken before disaster. It was like moments taken before disaster or something. I feel like a Bob Serum hack would actually be pretty cool. I just read a chat message. But could, could you imagine like Bobsy's unique moveset in a game that actually was pretty good? Oh wait, there's something there. I just realized. There's a chest. Amper. Blue Wing Heron. Come with me, opponent. Okay. Oh, you jumped over that. That was pretty cool. Now we just need to... Yeah, Ambers. Oh, we haven't take a, taken a picture of that. Mountain Goat. This is this is a pretty beautiful part of the game because yeah it's ruined but it's also covered in nature and you can see like the battlefield after so many years of it happening. I couldn't take a picture of those in time. Huh? 
I really like this game. It's so relaxing I sometimes forget I'm streaming and I forget to talk. Which is not 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 entirely good because you know I'm streaming and I need to talk. Epona is a pretty good horse in this game, but also she's not as good as other horses because you cannot equip the ancient guardian set onto her, which would extend the stamina. Our acquaintance, the Star Wars starship. Chicken, rubber drumsticks. I almost got the. Splendid carrots, carrots. It looks like someone's gone to great lengths to grow them. Sneaky, sneaky river snails. Oh yeah, there's a secret here. Peach. Oh, I need to take a picture of you. Take a better picture. Tensions. Oh, I cannot take pictures of those. We've already filled quite a bit of the compendium. Pumpkin. Fortified pumpkin. Wait, can I take a picture of the Kirk? Iron Shroom. Look, we are quite a bit. Can I take a picture of the Korok? Oh, that's unfortunate that it it's not a part of the compendium. What do you have to say for yourself, Paya? Oh, it's you, Lady Linko. Please, please don't sneak up on me like that. Is something the matter? Do you need something from me? What you doing? I was just polishing the Guardian DVDs. This is our like same post that guide us through our lives. Lady Lincoln, I want you to know that the path you are walking down is one we should all follow. I'm afraid doing stuff like this is the only thing I can do to help you. I guess it makes sense that the Koroks are not part of the Compendium because you can later upgrade the Compendium app to show you where certain things are located. Yeah, Paya is really cute. I agree on that. Huh? huh? I heard Purok was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Now then, let me see. Aha! That is, without a doubt, the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Hmm? 
Lincoln, something has been waiting on my mind. Lynn should have risen from the slumber of restoration by now. Hope may not yet be lost, however. Heroes of the past have may had their heart's desire made manifest by the power of the goddess that dwells within them. But how can your heart desire something that it cannot remember? Oh. You know, Pura might be correct. Peering into Lincoln Zelda's memories might indeed help you regain your own. Zelda's own grandmother had such gifts. Come back here once you have tried going at least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give to you. Right, so we need to go to one of the locations in there. And I think the best way to do it... We could go to the one here. But I don't know if that would be a great idea considering what happened to us last time. I tried... Um, you know, venturing too deep towards Hyrule Field. Okay, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Who cares about safety and regulations and all those things? We have collected 23 perk seeds. I mean, I wouldn't say I got slapped. I just... I just got defeated by some enemies because I didn't have good armor. And I still don't have good armor, but, but you know. Sometimes you gotta try. Oh yeah, the blood moon. How interesting that it says spirits of monsters slain in the name of light rather than monsters whose heart is corrupted by the darkness. The moon is probably not made of cheese in this game, but I would expect it to be magical in some way. Doesn't the, the, the new Sonic game basically have Calamity? I need to try Sonic Forces. No, it's not Sonic Forces. It's, it's the other one, the, the newest one. I forgot its name. What's this chest? Fire arrows, okay. Roasted bird drumstick. Nothing is as good as cheese. Not even magic. Unless the magic can make you have cheese. Then it's cheese magic. Oh my god, more of you? Die. That's, they are terrible.
fucking pieces. Yeah, Sonic Frontiers, that's the one I was thinking on. I just heard it's similar to Breath in, of the Wild in some ways. Wouldn't that be great if there was a, if Breath of the Wild had a farming mechanic where you could have a farm? I mean, you have a house. How hard would it be to make a farm? Okay, so we have enemies here. Is there anything we could take advantage of to kill them? It doesn't look like it. But we did it anyways. And we got another chest. We got five or ten arrows out of that. Okay, Seared steak. This meat has been cooked up. Oh, I already read that one on another episode. I don't need to read it again. Opal. I also read that one. Blackened crab. Whoa, I feel all five my, of my senses being attacked at once. These crabs of flaky flesh paired with the scent of the shell keep me yearning for more. Oh, it's flaky and savor smelling. It restores more of my life force than the raw version. What, Sonic Drive? I need to keep up with, with Sonic. I've been... The only thing I keep up with Sonic is the IDW comic, which is really good, honestly. You guys should read it. I've been reading it for quite a few months, down to basically keeping up with the new issues that come up every... Not every month. Yeah, every month. I forget it's monthly and not weekly like some other comics. Did that thing not die? Oh yeah, pro tip with these things. You don't need to hit them with an arrow. Yeah, see? Oh. But you do need to stay in here. Although I guess a, a bomb barrel would be way more useful for that, but I don't have any bomb arrows, nor I have the X the better bombs. No, I have not read any Ken Penders comics. I know a lot of people are actually fans of Archie Sonic, but there's a lot of storylines and. The character of Sonic in those are not entirely in my cup of tea. So I just, I prefer the IDW characterization of Sonic over the Archie one. Like, I know there's a few of Archie moments that are pretty good, especially once Ian Flynn takes over. But uh, th there's not a whole lot of things that I'm interested in with that one. Like, which one is that? Is that the one where, um, fuck, I forget. Yeah, there's like the ro robotization being stuff, right? Isn't that one one where Sonic becomes a robot or something? Metal Sonic, but not actually Metal Sonic because it's the 
Arch Comics version of Metal Sonic, which is just Sonic but robotized or something. The Metal Virus arc is one of my favorite arcs, although I prefer the Surge arc because I like Surge more. Surge is one of my favorite characters. She's so girl boss. Fuck, I need to bring this over. Oh, I know which one you're talking about now. Surge is a... She's basically Metal Sonic but biological. Like she was created through... I don't know if she was created actually. My theory is that she wasn't created. But rather that she was kidnapped. Because if she was created... Um, Dr. Starline would have kept note of that because it's a scientific breakthrough. But him saying it doesn't matter makes me believe that she was kidnapped. And he just doesn't care about her previous life. But she's basically meant to be Sonic's rival in the comic. And a foil to his philosophy. Which I think is pretty cool compared to a uh, Scourge, it's just evil Sonic, like actually evil Sonic, like. While Surge has electrical powers and, and has a cool backstory where she was, she's trying to find out who she was and hates everyone because of Sonic's fault she was created. Kind of. We got another spirit orb, so now we can get another heart container. What time is it? It's 4 p.m. We still have time for more stream. I need to go like at 7. So here's has to to give us more weapon slots. Shellaka, so we meet again. I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this area is central Hall, Hyrule, Shellako. That means Korok Forest is so much further north. Well, since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while. Hey, wait a minute. I know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok seed. You've collected the Korok seed from the forest children, haven't you? If you give me correct seats, I'll spend one of your statues. Which one would it be? So, I need more weapons statues. Let the expansion begin. I mean, it's 4 p.m. It's not that late. Expand a band band weapon stand shakala. So then 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 do you want to expand another stash of weapon stash one more time? And then I'll probably expand the bow stash. And there we go. Expand a band band weapon stash. I want the bow stash. Oh yeah. Fuck I I I need to read chat. I just read the latest message rather than reading the whole conversation because well I'm playing the game so it, I'm a bit distracted, you know. Expand a band band bow bow stash a claw. So then 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 do you want to expand another stash? Field. Yeah. 
I heard the dance he does in Tears to the Kingdom it is much better. Like, not in terms of, like, time, but just the routine. They should just skip the cutscene for the second time you do this. Like, on the first time you expand a new one, I guess it's fine. Like, I I think I remember how to get back to Cor Chorus. Maybe I'll head back now. I bet Grandpa is waiting for me. Thanks for the Korok seeds. I'm out to Korok's forest. Come visit me there sometime. Oh, there, that's Beetle. Beetle. I need to talk to Beetle. Yeah. Hey, welcome. Oh, you appear to have some choo-choo jelly. Beetle loves choo-choo jelly. Would you consider giving 10 to me? You'd get something in return, of course. How about I trade you for this red potion? Mighty meat and rice bowl. That's not a red potion. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're even more awesome than I thought you were. I will cherish this choo-choo jelly you have given me for the rest of my days. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? I'm sure I have something to... F oh, he doesn't sell it here either. Where the fuck did Beetle... Where where, where did I get one from Beetle? Chichi Yelly probably just tastes like water because it's water. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again soon. Right. Please give me a Pona back. Yeah. You can register a wild horse, your, your car to retrieve or board your existing. Yeah. Take horse. A Pona. Take horse. I, we will get the Pona. See, it's tight. Ooh. There you go. Thanks for choosing us for all your oh. horsey needs. Horses that have lots of tam stamina can run at top speed for a long time however they can't run they can't turn well when they're running at t top speed yeah kind of like a guard jelly I guess okay Pona you're going to help me take this tower This way we'll have a, an easier time. And hopefully no guardians will... Oh, there's a guardian there. There we go. Ancient core. This crystal was made using lost technology at one time. It was the power source for ancient machines. She said, This must be valuable to Pura. A giant energy crystal made using lost ancient technology. Of course, these stars are, are an extremely rare find. A researcher might want this thing. And just like that is how you deal with guardians. You know, when you're prepared and have a better weapon, you can deal with them pretty pretty quickly. You just have to be prepared and have a horse and a weapon. I mean, 
that's what happens when you are good at the game. It, it takes time to be good at killing the guardians. It's not something you learn, like, right away. Like, you have to take down the legs, you have to crit the eye. That's the best tip I can give on how to kill the guardians. There's another one right there. Base, well, kind of. You have to gain the distance. You just don't have to let them. No, you have to gain space close to them. Do not let them fire the laser. The moment you let them fire the laser, they it's over. It's over unless you parry. Yeah, up close and personal is the best way to deal with the guardians. Unless it's the... Unless you have a way to parry or know how to parry. What are you shooting at? Yeah, the mirror shield which I added as a mod can deflect the, the, the guardian lasers directly, but there's not a whole lot of things in the base game. See, like right there, that one spotted us, but it, it, we we know where it is, so we can do this, and it doesn't know where we are. And we can get close to it. Is uh, you also need the guardian weapon because guardian weapons deal more damage to them. Like, this is a 20 damage sword, or, but I believe the guardian weapons deal twice the damage to them, so it's a 40 damage sword to them. And just like that. And we got the amber. You just have to know how to deal with the enemies. Like, the, the, any enemy in any game is going to be harder the more time you take to kill it. Because that means there's more room for you to make a mistake. But if you have a high damage weapon, like in this case, there's less room for you to make a mistake. And if you stay calm and concentrated, 
there's not going to be a lot of time or a lot of room for a mistake. And as long as you know your strategy, you can succeed at the game. And that's my uh, number one tip for anyone trying to get better at playing games. Keep calm. It's a game, it's meant to be relaxing, unless it's a scary game, in which I don't have any tips on how to deal with those. And here we are, another tower. Shika Tower activated. And that's our fourth tower. Scanning area. Well, it still applies if it's a strategy game. Like, a bleed strategy is basically this. You're making the time as short as possible. So there's not a lot of room for you to make a mistake. Except that a bleed strategy, the number one priority is to target the weak points, which essentially is the same thing for the Guardian. Like we dealt with its legs so it couldn't escape. We hit the eye, which is the the point that's critical damage to them. And we basically crippled it. Okay, so we want to go here. There's going to be a few guardians around here, but if we can kill one of them and not draw the attention of the rest, that's going to make it a lot easier on us. So there's the one. There's the other one. Use the woods to your advantage because that way the one that's stationary won't be able to see you. And they get stuck on the wood. Armorant. This plant can be broken. Wait, can I use it as a weapon then? No, it does not make a good weapon. When cooked, it increases my defense. We gotta get rid of the other leg. Where's the other leg? Where's the other leg? There it is. Ancient springs and ancient shafts. And in the... I have had pizza rolls. They are pretty good. Have you had pizza cones? And that's how you deal with the guardian.
calm down, buddy. Let me just get these parts. I mean, yeah, but I have been practicing a little bit. Plus, it makes it helps a lot that there's only one guardian for us. Like the last time, I got a bit distracted by the guardian, and I didn't see the stall enemy behind me. Come with me, Epona. So we already have dealt with four guardians, the stalkers, the one that that move. And this is the sacred ground ruins. A pizza cone is it's exactly what it sounds. It's a bit of uh, pizza dough that you bake to be in a cone shape and you fill it up with the pizza sauce and cheeses and of course what would be the toppings in a normal pizza except that since it's a cone you can fill it up all the way and take bites like it's ice cream and it's delicious and you can put a meatball on top <laughs> その やれよ。Yes, Rabali, he's one of my favorite characters in the game. Oh fuck, I forgot to take pictures of the guardians. Well, no matter, they respawn and they don't, they aren't like other enemies that evolve. So, how do we go back to Kakariko village? So, the best way I can see would be, we can fast travel. Oh, there's a guardian. Listen, I might murder, but it's for a good reason. These things are dangerous and we cannot let them uh, kill the civilians.
yes, it's undignified, but you know, it, it, look how many swords and spears it has. It, that thing has murdered so many people. Look at it. It's it's in the Hyrule Compendium now. There it is. And where's my map? Right. Yeah, Gananan, um, I jacked them. Are we just going to be guardian farming this whole episode? There we go. That wasn't that far, was it? The Epona helps a lot. That's another combat tip for the game. Like if you can, if you can keep constant movement, arrows aren't going to be as trouble. Guardian lasers are going to be a trouble. The most trouble you'll get is if the horse gets killed, which... Uh, thankfully, there's a few ways... What's that? Oh, that's a house. Also, pro tip, that's technically weak point, it does extra damage. And that's how to get rid of a guardian. Now, picture me doing this in like the third episode of this series, versus... Uh, how is Duquesne even doing in uh, Tears of the Kingdom? Last time I remember he was like building logs, like making giant logs. Like that's what I remember he was doing. The ultra log.
Don't tell him I was shit talking him while he's not here to defend himself. Like, it's funny, but you know, I still feel kind of bad for doing it when he cannot defend his power skills and the fact that he did not recognize that he could have made a boat in that same moment. Nor the fact that he constantly doesn't organize. Oh, wrong way. You know, that's what I get for shit talking. I go the wrong fucking way. You know, don't shit talk your friends' kids. You will get... You will make mistakes. Ah, uh, don't worry, SSAP. I was just talking to Kane because I, I deal with the Guardians and he was building a giant log in Tears of the Kingdom. Where are you? Did I talk with you? Hello? Are you taking a bit break? I need directions. Oh, no thank you. Goblins, yeah. I really like the goblins in this game. Look how many things you can just ignore by having a force. Like, if you don't want to uh, have any combat encounters, just get a horse. It will even break the game world because it cannot generate the, the surfaces as fast as you can travel. Yeah, I saw you were in chat and he was responding to you. And to be fair, making a long stick is sounds fun, but at the same time... How is he... How did he not recognize that there were more tools than him to him than sticks? Like, there were sails, there were... The ventilator, not the ventilators, the fans, that's it, that's the word. Wait, Link, Link in this game is right-handed. Did you know that Link generally is left-handed? That's what I'm interested in, the fact that he's right-handed in this game. Because Lincoln wouldn't be right-handed, because that would mean having to replace so many lines of code. Yeah, like in Twilight Princess for the GameCube, Link is left-handed. And for the Wii, since most people are right-handed, they needed to completely rework the game so people could use the right hand, which they didn't actually do that. They just flipped completely the world. Like, enemies that would normally be left-handed, no wait, right-handed turned into left-handed. I don't think he has used gliders. I haven't seen a lot of episodes because I only worked on the, the ones I do and I, I want to work on more but I, at the same time I don't want more spoilers for the game. Like I, I need to talk to him about that. Yeah, it, 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 it just probably was easier to flip the world completely. 
and to rework the game so Link could be right-handed. At least that's my guess. But could you imagine having to manually flip every single map and thing to be mirrored so right hands could work? That sounds a bit terrible, at least from the modeler's point of view. Whoa. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. Champion's tunic. In ancient Herald, this garment could only be worn by one who had earned the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. That is something of links that I have been keeping safe by request of the princes. The clothing was specially, spe specially made for him when he became a champion. Please handle it with care. Linkle. Princess Alt is fighting Calamity Ganon all along and life's and Link's life hangs in the balance. You are the only one who can save him, the only one who can save Hyrule. Now go, you must. Couldn't the animations be retar Yeah, they could probably re be retargeted, although I'm guessing there was a lot of things they could not just retarget, so they had to flip the model and the therefore the animations. I mean, it would add a lot of more challenge if you had to fight the Bokoblins and they were left-handed because you would be technically at a disadvantage. Wait, did I get the... Oh, I get... Oh, yeah, there he is. How much health do I have? Yeah, because in fencing, normally you would be fighting someone who's using the same hand as you. Like, the enemy wouldn't go... Left-handed because you went right-handed. Or right-handed because you went right-handed. They would use their dominant hand. Lady Link... Oh, she's looking... Right. So, what quest do we have? We what? What capture memories? Pretty divine beast. Do we have any side quest at all? Okay, I want to go to the ancient tech lab. We have killed quite a lot of guardians, haven't we? Right. Good morning. Something on your mind? Something good? Aha. I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You need three ancient screws to power up your Shika sensors, three ancient steps to power up your remote bones, and three ancient corners to power up your stasis. If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. Snap, did you bring me the ancient materials? Now then, in exchange for those ancient materials, I'll power up a rune of your Shika Slave. I'm game. So which rune do you want powered up? The sensor. Shika sensor power up time. Yahoo, for that, three ancient screws should do the trick. Three ancient screws and a cute snap. Here I go. Snap. Hey ho, got it. Okay then, Shika sensor upgrade, underway. Get in stunned lock, lock removed. Now, let's do this thing.
fuck. I forgot what I what we what we were talking about that you were that you said a, do a dozen. Oh yeah, the guardians we have been killing. So I count at least a few, like yeah, a few about a dozen is right because there's the stalkers which are the ones that move and the ones that are stationary. If your sensor has your sensor but has been augmented to search things other than trains. But unfortunately I won't be using the other function because we need to find the shrines. But there is a few shrines I want to go to right now. Yahoo, my little guy named Stone did the trick. Hehe. <laughs> oh, the Shika Sensor Plus. I really want to see it. Yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing signing that up? Spiffy Shika Sensor Plus later. Snap. Ancient materials. Stasis. Oh, I don't have the necessary materials for stasis. Remote bomb. Snap. Now let's do this thing. Right. I cannot skip this. Right, I forget. Chica sensors uh, improving bomber. Most players wouldn't be able to do this right away. But I did it because I'm epic and I killed the guardians. So remote remote bomb plus. Nice, lime chip sounds delicious. I should probably eat something. If you have any other runes you'd like to power up, just let me know. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to Hateno Bay. And there's a very good reason for that. And the reason is that I need to complete the mountain climber set. Oh my god, I forget where the other mountain climber part is. This, this is one of the best parts of the game in my opinion. Like just being able to shield surf. And we got another picture, the woodland boar. There, I, if I remember correctly, oh my god. There we go. Choo 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 jelly. Now, where was the raft? Oh. Palm fruit. Oh, a palm fruit to complement the beautiful ocean. Palm trees grow near the ocean and their fruit doesn't really have any effects, but it increases my life force when cooked. Crab. Oh, I think it just pinched me. Its pincers are really sharp and when cooked the strength compounding it makes them makes me strong. I really don't like the Octorox. Yeah, the, 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 the travel in the world is fun. Even though I do wish I could fast travel a bit more. I might enable it once um, or another three ex extra ancient cores or once I get the travel medallion. Because I think it wouldn't make sense then. 
because the treble medallion would mean we upgraded the fast treble function. While the ancient corn course would mean we are paying something to fast travel. Iron Shell Crab Each shell is so hard I could probably knock a stall goblin's head up with it. PS doesn't work. It's good for increasing my defense though. Oh my god. I really don't like the Octorox. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Squirrels. And this is why I kept this. Stop shooting at me. So we are going to do mo two more shrines. So we are going to do the Eventide Island. And of course... Shrine, the Cascada Shrine. Yeah, that shrine. Skip. Did I get a message? I think I did. Hold on. Oh my god, my phone is so annoying. It's so laggy. Oh, this is um, a strength of. Let's Tests of strength. A major. Oh, major. Guardian Scout 4 Okay That's not good Yeah, they look like probe droids, don't they?
I'm getting a bit hungry. This is why you got the fairies. Yeah, that's why you got the fairies. This is not good. These are harder than the other ones in my opinion. Especially because of this. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. We did it! Guardian Spear Plus Plus Guardian Sword Plus Plus We need to drop the Traveler Spear I'm going to drop the Traveler's Claim or the Good Cut No, the Good Color Sex is actually useful I'm going to drop the Spike Buckle Black and the Traveler Sword though Ancient Battle Axe plus plus. We got pretty powerful weapons. Probably far more powerful than we should have at this level. Oh, wrong way. There we go. We got a chest. Climbing gear. And we have the shirt. That was indeed a, a, a tough fight, but we managed to pull through. You know, I'm a bit of a gamer. Spirit Orb. May the goddess smile upon you. Finger food. I'll see what I have on the fridge. Be but before I do want to go to Eventide Island. Yes, exactly. Oh 
Oh, we don't even have the map for even Tide Island. That's another weakness. You know, make it easier on me. Yuha has traveled to this land, island. I present you with a challenge. In your travels, you've relied on the equipment you found along the way. Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Offer up the orbs to the three altars on this island, only then will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. Baked Pomfort. Royal Pomfort goodness. The inside is steamed and juicy and is the best herb when the juices start to squirt out while roasting. Not my juices, you weirdo. Rusty shield. I'm going to remove it because of the bold fruit. The group will love this. It's very sweet, and when I cook it into a dish, it makes me resistant to electricity. This melon has the heart of a warrior. It can flourish even in the desert. The liquid and side is so refreshing, it increases my heat resistance when cooked. Yep. They took all of our clothing of it. Traveler's sword. Thankfully, there's a few good items here. And we can get food. Although, it's still a tough challenge. But there's a few things in this island that you, that you can use to your advantage. There's mushrooms and things. Bright eyed crab. They grow in groups, which means more crab meat for me. Haha. <laughs> it is really tasty too. When cooked, it replenishes my stamina and will cure me of all my exhaustion. Give me the crabs. Branch. Oh, mighty bananas. That's that's good for us. Giga want a banana. Eek, eek. Too bad it's mine. This keep is lankles now. <laughs> banana dishes make me stronger. Oh my god, I didn't notice that guy. Bocos Fear Rope. <laughs> Fuck. No, don't climb. Don't climb, I said don't climb. Be cool. Wait, what, wait, what? I, I do not know what you're saying, wait, what? Yeah, they break when you throw them. I forgot that. That was a mistake on my part. Mighty Porgy, these guys are rude, but it's one thing to be competitive. But uh, not invite to my birthday party. Proceeds to eat them. Their best cook increasing my attack. Okay. Something killed those.
there's an X. Red choo choo yelling. Consume. Consumption is good. What's this? Oh, it's a rock. We got horns, we got things. Do we have any good bows? I don't have a bow. Oh my god, stop. Bowtor. What? 55 damage? I don't know if it's 55 damage or if I'm going mad. Soldier's bow. Yellow choo choo yelling. Soldier's bow. Yeah, bow door are apparently fifty five damage. It's that's surprisingly decent. Well, not decent, it's really good. So we got the things. Oh, I need to heal. Give me the the the, the, the comfort. There we go. I mean the bow door is that's all that's almost the the, the 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 amount of damage that a full master sword has. Like the only bad thing is that it's a club. I, I'm not a big fan of the clubs.
right. Yeah, secret weapon. Weapon... Uh, uh, top 10 weapons of mass destruction banned by the US state. Yeah, the, this, this challenge is not as difficult as one would think, despite being taken all this stuff away from us, because we got the boat tour. But the choo-choo jellies are stopping, are wasting my durability. Give me the wood. I need the wood. There's a secret. How many wood do I have? I have. I need one more. So the wood is actually pretty good. So I grab the wood. Place it there. Place it there. Okay, well, that was a bad place to place the wood. We are going to have to do it a bit of the hard way. I wanted to cheat the system. I am pretty good at the game. In case you haven't noticed. Yeah, it's a secret. Fuck's sakes. Continue. Please tell me it's saved recently. I'm going to go eat something. I'm pretty hungry. Um, should I put the be right back screen to eat? Yeah, probably. Yeah, be right back.
okay so I put down some ham on the pan and it's just frying but since you know it would be boring to just have the be right back screen constantly I'm here to talk for a bit so hopefully this won't take long but yeah, I just, I just jinxed that. I don't know if I will return to that shrine right away or do it without cheating. There, are, there is pretty good way to cheat it. It's, it's very cool, very epic. But I'm, I don't know where if that's where the other pants are. Mountain climbing set, Breath of the Wild, Google climbing gear. Climbing boots, that's that's the one I'm looking for. I'm not sure who the other two persons on the chat are. They are on the Tanoa Shrine, so we need to get either food for we need food for the cold or something else like um, clothing for the cold I'd say food would be easier yeah food would be probably easier for that shrine Is this picking up the, 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 the pan frying sizzling? Can you guys hear the pan frying sizzle? By the lack of burst people on the chat saying something, I'm going to guess, yeah. You guys can probably not hear it. I will be, however, going to the be right back screen once I'm actually like eating. Oh, that's a shame. No pan frying sizzle. It's especially a shame because it's sizzling so good. And I'm not willing enough to put my microphone so close to the pan so you guys can hear the sizzle from up close. Oh, you hear it now. That's pretty cool, pretty banging. Is my, bo my voice louder than the music or is the music louder than my voice? put some gain on my voice like something along the lines uh, of 5 dBs let's see how that fares does my voice sound a bit clearer now oh I need to turn the music down a bit then that should be better yeah that should probably be better yeah, I, I, I'm sorry for the delay, but I was hoping someone, uh, one of my guests, maybe Fami or Brisk, would join the stream. But but they seem to be offline. Like, had I known they no one would come to join me as a guest on the Discord, I would have said the delay uh, lower. Like... Uh, right now I'm on normal latency. Okay, kind of loud. Let me adjust it. Edit filters. Again. That should be better. Is it better now? Like, uh, last time I put it on a 
low latency maybe I mean I I, I could ask for everyone that is a friend of mine to join the, the as a guest but that would kind of mean that well I would keep get two viewers rather than the three I have right now which you know I try not to think about the viewers a lot, but it does help to get viewers. Let me check on the ham on the pan, so... Yeah, it, it has a nice little caramel kind of glaze. I I bought the the ham already just to fry it. Like I have been going to this butchery place that has everything just ready for you to throw it on the pan and leave it for five seconds just flipping it. It's so efficient for my time and it allows me to like do editing job and actually have a meal that cooked rather than ordering from Uber Eats or something. It's, it's it it I probably would recommend that place to some people that have ADHD. So they just put it on the pan, forget it for five minutes, come back, it's done. And they have everything. I don't know if you guys have Wild Fork. That's what the place is called. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I, I wish it sponsored me, but you know, a small channel, so probably wouldn't even it, it wouldn't even be feasible to sponsor me. Because like, how many people, like three viewers, would probably go to the place? It's not feasible to give me like fifty dollars for a sponsorship, you know. Although, on my top sponsors, I do have Wild Fork as one that I would enjoy to have sponsoring me. Like, uh, Wild Fork, Bad Dragon, that's it. That's the ones I'm currently thinking on that I would enjoy. Maybe Bite Ramen. But Bite Ramen is quite expensive. Like, I did order it one time. It was okay. It was good actually, but it's very expensive. Oh yeah. That's that's a shame. Like because Wild Fork honestly is worth the money with the the, the price. I wonder if I should stream on Twitch or YouTube because I get three viewers here. Yeah, th that's one of the companies I would like to stream to uh, sponsor me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really experienced with that, so I cannot really speak a lot on that front. But it, I think it fits my brand as a content creator, as, as weird as that may sound. I do have a brand. I mean, I could probably be massive on Twitch, but I Twitch is kind of dying, so that's why I'm streaming more on YouTube. Plus, I get like 8 hours of watch time. And the amount to monetize is like 1000 hours watch time per year. So the streams are more time efficient for my time than a normal video. Even if I just have 3 viewers compared to the videos that get like 120 views. 
that's like 4.5 hours of watch time. It's not that much. Plus, I enjoy to read chat with you guys. No, I enjoy to interact with you guys on chat. That's how I should have worded it. That's the way you word things. Wording is a skill. Well, it's not that Twitch isn't friendly, it's that it's kind of dying. Plus, the revenue split with Twitch versus YouTube is not as profitable. Like, it's either 50-50 or way lower for the creator. While YouTube, it's 80-20. Of course, Patreon is the most um, profitable for a creator. Yeah, it's lovely to interact with you guys even if I'm not playing a game. Like, please join the Discord or something because, you know, I like interaction. Although I may not have always time for, for to interact. This is really just when I have the free time I can actually stream and interact with an audience. Normally I have a lot of editing jobs even though I don't have a lot of money, you know. I need to charge a bit more. Hold on. Yeah, I think I burnt my ham a little bit. Just a little bit. No one has done any dishes. Give me a sec, be right back.
So something that I forgot to mention before as uh, starting the stream or during the stream is that I actually have um, I might actually have to leap around like um, so it's this is 4 p.m. around 7 p.m. because I gotta go to get my brother of school. We are also going to go watch the new Transformers movie, which um, I've heard some pretty good reviews about it. But I've also heard that it's still somehow connected to the papers, which is very disappointing to me. Because I wanted the movie that was not part of the papers, aside from Bumblebee. And hearing that it might still be connected to the papers, it's not only disappointing, but it also kind of sounds like a dumb decision on the writer's part. Because how critically panned the Babers has become. Like, I don't know anyone that likes the Babers nowadays. Like, at the beginning, sure, you had a bit of fans for the Babers, considering that it was aimed towards the teen demographic, but I don't know many teens that actually like that type of show anymore. But you know, the Babers, the, the new one seems to be changing a lot of things, so... It could be good for the papers, but who knows? Only after seeing me do I have a solid opinion on it. I don't consider my opinion super solid right now because I, of course I haven't watched the movie, but I can reserve some expectations for a movie, you know? Like if you if you get told that it's a movie about giant robots, of course your expectations are going to be there should be giant robots in this film. But if, like, um, for example, some Godzilla films of course have way more humans than uh, monsters sometimes. And that's not necessarily bad, but it goes against the expectations. Sometimes subverting the expectations of the audience can be good. But sometimes uh, too many subversions can actually make a film worse or, or in my opinion the worst subversion of expectations can be a lampshading like Marvel has an issue with right now in my opinion. There's far too many lampshading in the Marvel movies nowadays which I guess was a trend that was started by Guardians of the Galaxy. And it just keeps going because of how weird the Marvel Universe is and that they are touching the weirder elements like vampires and all that. Which I would lo love if they didn't lampshade. You know, this is the kind of stream that I want. I don't want that purely gaming. I want to talk with you, the audience, but you know, there's not a lot of audience to talk right with right now. So I'm just viewing my opinions as I eat. Of course, one of the good films that subverts your expectations is Rogue One. Because you're expecting it to be a Star Wars film, so you're expecting Jedi and all that. But there's no Jedi, there's only Darth Vader. And it doesn't have a happy ending unlike some other Star Wars films, even if it does have a hopeful ending. Which I guess it's within the expectations of this, the f franchise.
but you know, it just depends from film to film and the execution of the product rather than the tropes, in my opinion, because you can have a film with a lot of tropes and cliches, but as long as the film executes them in a way that's fresh and new, they don't really affect the film that much. Like, sure, you know what's going to happen, but not every film needs to spurt an expectation. But I guess in a sense some subversions of expectation have become tropes and cliches of their own. Like the Disney twist villain. Like sure some of them are still pretty good but there's a lot of them now. I remember when there weren't a lot of them. Like it's arguably the golden age of Disney when with the Lion King and all those, there, there was a few of the, you see the introduction of the, the twist villain with um, the one from Tarzan, I forget his name, you're, you're expecting the tiger, the cheetah to be the villain of the film, but in the end, it's mankind, oh there's two viewers, Listen, I'm going to return to the game soon. I'm just having food because I haven't had breakfast. So please have patience. I'll return to the game soon. Do not worry about it. Be cool, bitch. Be cool. Chat, please, please say anything. I feel like I'm going crazy by talking to myself. Oh, that's it's cool that you talk to your brother I need to talk more with mine because we don't have a very good con connection I have tried to play games with him, but he's the typical Call of Duty kid, so I'm not very happy to play games with him. One, I'm not a fan of Call of Duty nor shooter games, so that already makes it difficult for us to enjoy a, a game in common. Yeah, the boy doesn't like cooking. talking to him about his school though since I have been the one coming for him to school and all that
I just don't get why little brothers are, are always... Well, not, not always, but you know, why the stereotype? Like, sometimes stereotypes are based on truth, and I feel like little brothers being little shit sometimes is based on truth. Yeah, I, I'm trying my best to be good, a good sister, but sometimes he makes it hard. I can only have so much patience. Patience is a virtue after all. I'm, I'm not a very virtuous person, I would say. I would actually say I'm one of the deadly sins. I'm lost. That's me. I do try to, to take patience and to 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 to, to have a level head. But it is pretty hard when the only person that's not supportive towards me is the one person you're trying to connect with. Like, out of all the people in my life that I expected to be a bigot, that's not the one I expected. I'm almost done with my food. Yeah, what do they say? It's often the closest one to us that can hurt us the most. Or something like that. That's how the saying goes. I sometimes try to make my own sayings, but I feel like the fact that I know sayings in Spanish kinda pushes me down because like I feel like you guys wouldn't understand the saying of the shrimps that sleeps uh, the current takes him away. That's a good saying. The shrimp that sleeps it's taken by the current. I, I guess it sounds better in Spanish. I like empanadas, although... I prefer pasties.
Especially because pasties and like empanadas have flaky bread. Empanadas are more of the lumpy kind of bread, I would say, while while pasties pasties have the flaky bread. Also, most empanadas I have had are like savory, while pasties have a mix of both savory and sweet. Like, I haven't seen many sweet empanadas in my lifetime. I mean, savory empanadas can be pretty good, but bland doesn't help. Like, not, not it doesn't help at all when it's like meat, because then it just feels like a paste. Like a good pate would be very flavorful. Yeah, that makes sense. A lack of seasoning can can be detrimental. That's why I don't often get savory empanadas or pasties. Because unless you cook it yourself, there's there's not much control that you can have with those. And for example, I like my pasties, the savory ones, to be ham and cheese, and I like to cut my ham slices pretty thick. So they are pretty nice and you will get a lot of the flavor with each bite. Same with sandwiches. I like to have my my ham slices pretty big. I I'd like to have a lot of ham on my ham sandwiches. Which oftentimes is counteracted by pickles, mayonnaise, mustard, cheese, and um, what else do I put on my sandwiches? Oh yeah, salt and pepper. Always salt your sandwich. So I bought from Watfork these thick ham slices that are like Christmas ham. And I just pan fried it a bit so it's properly cooked and I put it between hot dog buns. Mostly because that those were the ingredients I have on hand and I don't want to go outside because I already put a lot along just chatting segment on this video.
Yeah, I, I, I can see why someone would complain about that, but that's why I, I buy my own food a lot of times. Because people respect that I bought the food and they think I will use it for a specific recipe I had in mind. So they tend not to touch my food. And that's just a big advantage when since I often tend to have breakfast by myself or dinner or anything because I am oftentimes alone in the house. need to get it yeah by myself like sometimes my brother will be here but up to time since he goes to school like five days a week I'm I'm alone five days a week Although being alone five days a week has some advantages, like the lack of noise. I can stream, for example, right now. I mean, having the place off by for myself is good, but also just lonely. So that's why I stream today. Yeah, I can see that. I'm going to the island again. I'll cheat. I admit it, I will cheat. wondering to yourself how will I cheat that's such a challenge and the answer is pretty easy to you who has traveled this island I present you with a challenge in your travels you rely on your equipment you found along the way here you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Offer up the orbs to the three altars in this island. Only when I will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. There we go. I 
I'm pretty good at this game. It does count, yeah. I'm 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 a badass. That, that that's what I am. There we go. Was this one of the chests with arrows? No. Traveler sword. Alright, I need to bomb these. I already read that one. I already read that one as well. Hydro Melon. Listen, as, as long as I, I do the challenge, this counts. Big Hearty Radish. Oh, there's Hearty Truffles. Oh, I haven't read those ones. Hearty Durian. So. Yo, this thing really stinks, but I've heard it offers really high restorative powers when cooked, so I guess it would be very useful. Hmm, what a rich scent. It exudes. It smells good and it's delicious. You think this will temporarily increase my life force? Since nobody decided to pick this hearty radish, it became a massive absolute unit, rich in analeptic compounds. If I cook with it, temporarily increases my life force. Right. Bowtor. Oh, I got burnt. This, this is wooden. What's lone water saturation? Lone water saturation. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, I need wood. Wood would uh, would st will still be useful. Can I save? Oh, you cannot save right now. That's so shitty. I should have cheated more. I should have cheated more. Arrows. Oh, yeah, I got arrows. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess... I didn't know you had to water lawns, but it, thinking about it now, I guess that makes sense. Like, it's a plant. You need to water plants. Why is there so many bottles? Fuck six. I did the same mistake again.
looks up the grass. Oh my god, I cannot see. I killed that guy. How many wood do I have? Four wood. That is acceptable. Soldier's bow. There we go. And now Right. I forgot. Chicks, money for nothing, chicks for free. Chickens. I mean, I can see why the family wouldn't want chickens because you have to take care of them and that's effort. The soldier's bow again. Soldier's broad, broad sword. There we go. I haven't taken the other bolt to the other place. I took the ball to the place. Okay. Roots and peaches. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of animals.
Yeah, the ball, the balls, the balls, balls. We are gonna have to do some other stuff because that one, that enemy is actually pretty tough. And I'm not sure we can defeat it with the tools we have at the moment. As much as I would want to. There we go. So, we are almost done with the Diddy's Island. So, we take the ball, we put the ball in the hole, and we do the other things. So, this, w this shouldn't take too long. Cry Cryonis. Cryostasis. Okay. Hold on, I got a text message. I just heard it. Oh, it's, it's nothing. It was this court. It was just peace court. A step to power Choo Choo Jelly. I don't know if we should power Choo Choo Jelly. Pa poor, power, poor. Or, what's the proper pronunciation of that word? So, a short soldier shield. Not as useful. So what I'm going to do, I forgot what I said. Right. It would be good if we had a, at least clothing. It's Yigli Boo. Ow! That sapped my hand. There's still electricity in it. And if struck, it would explode into a burst of current. I think I like the iced one more, though. So. Okay. So here's what we are going to do. You see that monster? We are going to have to run.
I had it planned. You've done well to complete this trial. I will, not, I will now return your things as promised. Come, enter the shrine. Don't tell me it's still behind me. Okay, we have clothing at least. And a fairy. We did it! Dragon Bomb Book Club. Dragon Bomb Book Bow. It's more better. We did it. He knocks to toenail. You, it's been unattended for forever. It's really thick but really gross. Might be good for an elixir. How is this a real tooth? It's so big I can't believe it. Might be useful for elixirs. This throat can be found all over Hyrule. Uh, Serve river to table. It's simply cooked for a soft and flaky flesh with a mild flavor. It's giant smelly and it's in my inventory. And it's also quivering. I'll leave it but my compass tells me it has other uses. Roasting this little fella helped to suppress some of its stench, making it easier for me to eat. So I can really sink my teeth into its thick meaty flesh. Just some salmon over a flame, no additional flavoring. Not only is the skin edible, but it also gives off a sweet aroma. Oh, it's a soft and fluffy. The textures of this little guy have been enhanced after getting roasted. The crispy skin is getting is very, very delicious. Okay, we need to save. Yeah, we we can do more with cooking because the, it reduces the damage. Although that thing was still very strong and it basically took all of my health. But we, we did it. We did the challenge of the island. And I did the Team Fortress to me I wanted to do. What's this? Nothing. Challenge completed, exactly. And we get free food for doing the challenge. Which I guess is, it's not really free. Listen, it was legitimate. was very very legitimate Was the game the game did not stop me from doing it, so it's legitimate. If the monk had had did wanted to take the weapons, he could have done it the whole time, and he didn't. So it was a, it was a challenge of wits, not of um, strength or anything like that.
So uh, the monk is uh, right. I am very good. I'm very epic. To you who set foot in this shrine, I am Korkochid. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. Korgu Chida? How do you pronounce his name? Gold... Just a gold rupee for that? Just a gold rupee. I cannot believe it. You have done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to ride the crongs of Hyrule. Spirit Orb. Not impressed with your challenge. Especially just the, the, the gold rupee. That's all he offered us for doing the dumb challenge. I don't, I don't know. Huh? Who's that? Raw prime meat. This is fresh, high quality meat. You don't find this every day. If I cook it, I can restore more of my life force. Many snobs of Hyrule would say this type of meat is gourmet and others are for peasants. I don't like this classism. It's very rude, but this is definitely tasty, especially when cooked. Who is this man? Yeah. What are you doing all the way up here? Seeking adventure. You must be drawn to heights. You and I have that in common. It is only from here that I can properly hear the wind. I want to live as the wind does, free and unrestricted. To bite here and listen to its voice offers a taste of that freedom. Don't you long to be in the wood like the wind too? With all my heart. Uh -huh. I think we will be fast friends. I've never felt such a kinship with a Hylian before. Your style of wing is different than mine, but similar enough that I think you could undergo my training to become the wing. Aww. The wind is stormy or calm, but it turns but always moves as it will. I seek to emulate its rhythm by mimicking its movements. To that end, I have devised a training program that involves flying through rings suspended in the air. Oh. Should you choose to undertake this training, I don't know. Mm. I see there is a gulf in your thinking on the matter then. Please leave me in the peace that I may hear the wind's voices. Yeah, the birds in this game are pretty cute. Oh, those guys respawned? I feel like the man wasn't happy with what I did to the challenge. This place is really beautiful. Okay. So, we have done the Nekluda area. Yeah. I'm not a cheater. The game didn't stop me from doing it, so. It's not a cheat. And also, I still had to do a challenge because I did not have armor and the armor is actually very important because without the armor we die in one hit just like I showed No, oh, I need the rubber rubber armor. Where the fuck is oh yeah the rubber armor is there? Mm, where do I go? Where do I go? You know I actually want to free Rebali first. No armor is not good armor. Shut up.
this is good armor. We had seven points of damage negation. Butterfly. We already got this car up. Wait, did we? That was too quick. Wait, did the Koroks disappear? That's weird. If it would be close, it would be fast. Actually, no, it would not be faster. Because if I remember correctly, there is a stable somewhere along there. No fast travel. Fuck's sakes, I forget there's no fast travel. Actually, there is fast travel. What am I talking about? Yeah, butterflies. We got a butterfly. I need to do the the quest for the travel medallion so we can fast travel once more. Fast travel. That's the word. Mm, guardian. Listen, if I wasn't good at the game, would, be, would I be able to do that? I didn't cheat, it was just an extension of my skills. It was game knowledge. Yeah, but it was close, but it wasn't that close because my game knowledge prevented me from dying. The, the knowledge and the skill necessary for it are what makes me a pro gamer. I need to keep that one. Delete it. Give me the armor and everything is calculated and according to plan. Fox, we got a fox. We are quite a few spaces in the compendium already. Where is the Colosseum? There is the Colosseum, it's, be it's behind us, so we don't need to worry about accidentally running into it. Yes, it's part of the plan, the master plan. Without the plan, would we would be fucked. All right, those idiots.
My least favorite guardian type. Harable. You arrived at you, you arrived a bit late. Cause I I think I only have like a few minutes to stream. Let me check. Yeah, I probably have a few minutes of stream. I've streamed for like four hours. So we're, we are going to go to that tower and activate it. The Kark Bridge. What do you mean kind of out of time? I do reach chat by the way. I'm not like other streamers that say they read chat but only read the message that say why aren't you reading chat? Seven. I might have to go in 30 minutes, but it's a maybe. I won't know until I get a confirmation from someone. Do I not have any fairies? No, I don't have fairies anymore. That's pretty bad. Oh my god. Eat. Eat the salmon. Eat the peach. Eat something. Eat raw chicken. How did that hit me? What even hit me? Right. Not annoyed at all. Wait, do I have one fairy left? I did not get a fairy that time. Oh fuck, wrong thing. Yeah, I will have to go in 30 minutes. But I still have time. Almost. There we go.
There we go. Plant. Did that did this guy drop anything good? Oh, they are going to sleep. This could be massive. Please go to sleep. Not the best way to deal with that. I will admit. Snick strike. There we go. Arrows. For cobbling, pangs, horns, arrows. We did, did we didn't get our arrows back, did we? No. There was a lot of arrows spent. Oh my god, it's it's thunderstorm, of course. Oh, there's a shrine over here. I wonder if it's an easy one we can do before I leave. Mm -hmm. I don't remember doing this shrine on my testing. Right, so the two orbs guide to guide you. The salt wash shrine. The salty waft shrine. What is this? Oh, I think which one this is. I think I know which one this is. Yeah. Does this do for me? Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, two two balls. Two balls to guide you. Two testicles, two tests. Ok, 
okay. Why didn't that launch me that high that one time? Let the balls... Let the balls guide you, Luke. That's what Obi-Wan said. Spirit Orb. We got 7 out of 8 Spirit Orbs we need so far. Which isn't too bad. We will just need to return to one of the cities and... Um... Yeah. So it's this way. I forgot to take a Pona with me. I should have. And I don't know why I didn't. What do you have to say for yourself? I ain't minded rain, getting a little wet ain't never hurt anyone. It's lighting you best be looking out for, especially if you're wearing metal. Oh, hi, got enough food stuff for your journey, best not to time running low, so why not take a look at what I got? Ah. You should check out my rainy day special, corn spice. Fresh milk. Those are very... Those are more expensive than I would get for a normal store. Normal store. Yeah, the balls challenge was completed. Yeah, there's a uh, rainy thunder, uh, rainy weather, thundery weather, cloudy weather, sunny weather. Some are. Uh, Random, some are triggered by the time of day. There's the eclipse, the, the blood moon, which is of course tied to 160 hours, no, 16 hours of playing the game. There's the, the moon phases, which activate certain events on the game world. And I think that's it. Mushroom. And what's this? Cool Safina. Safina. After climbing, climbing, and more climbing, I reached the high mountains and found this medical plant. When cooked, it makes my body heat resistant. Okay, that's useful to know. And we are missing one piece of the climber set, which isn't too bad but could help us a lot here. Although sneaking around on rain is easier because of the noise the rain makes. But this, oh, there's no rain anymore. So this make this just got harder for us. Okay. So this alphas. And that's a wish robe. Specifically, an electric wish rope. Which means very bad thing for us when we're near water. The Salfa's tail, even after being severed off the Salfa's, it has life. Wiggling around, what a true warrior. Apparently, it makes great ingredient el elixirs. According to Zelda. This book shield is reinforced with fossilized bone. Its defensive capabilities are respectable, but its predictably slips 
shot craftsman shield spell slow durability. Yep. Okay. So do we have anything to counter the electricity? Oh yes we do actually. Okay. Force them out of the water. Okay, well, I need to eat something because otherwise it will one shot me. Self-stell electricity still runs in the tail after being severed. The tail is really stinky though, so it's awful to cook, but apparently really good for elixirs. Thunder spear, a magical spear that can say thunder from thunder plateau in its tip. Attack when the blade glows with a golden light to unleash an electricity. Yeah, that's why I'm not a big fan of the electricity. Like, it's... Oh, no. Electric key swing. Now there's an electric bat. Why are there so many stupid different bats? I'll just cook it with some creatures and make an elixir. Give me this. Lightning rod. A magical rod that can shoot balls of electricity. It seems contains lightning from the Hyrule Hills. It's not recommended to use as a melee weapon. Hi Timmy, we are about to end actually, in like 10 minutes. Okay, I need to eat. Mm. 
In 10 minutes I need to go get the beast from school. Okay. So we managed to make it. We were sneaking, we killed monsters. That's the important part. And we didn't die, that's also important. Because we could have died with those guys. I believe so. But I should use. I, I may be able to stream tomorrow as well. Maybe. Not super sure on that though. I may, I may not be able to. But I'll see what I can do. Okay, and we made it. This tower generally is the last one I, I grab because I hate those electric enemies in the water. But we did it. We did the water challenge. Scanning area. And that's another piece of the map. Regional map extract. Oh boy. There's still quite a lot of towers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 towers, I count. Right. With that being said, though, I'm going to save the game and uh, say thank you everyone for watching. Uh, glad you could join me in the stream. And until uh, probably tomorrow, I wouldn't see why I wouldn't be able to stream tomorrow. But, um,. Uh, thank you everyone. Make sure to go to the Discord where I'll notify any more streams and um, Make sure to have a good food. Make sure to have a good night